Checking on Money Matters this morning, gift cards are the go-to holiday gifts of 2020 and another COVID-19 vaccine could get approval by the end of the year. And Jane King is joining us live from New York with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good Christmas hey. Eve morning to you, Jane. A happy Christmas Eve to you, too. And we're talking about AstraZeneca's COVID vaccine. So it could be approved next week in the United Kingdom. Now, medical regulators there are expected to take it up in the coming days. If approved, that would make three COVID vaccines on the world market. The other two, of course, being Pfizer and Moderna. Now, airlines are working to bring back laid off workers. There was $15 billion in that $900 billion COVID relief plan that uh, was passed by Congress uh, would make it change. Uh, president has resisted some elements of it, uh, but they are working to, it's starting the process of bringing back thousands of employees that were furloughed in late September. Now, the airlines say that the additional funds are enough to pay the workers through the end of March. And gas prices have fallen, and Gas Buddy projects that the national average will be two nineteen per gallon on Christmas Day, the second lowest in the last decade. The survey found 34% of Americans plan to travel by car on the holiday, and more than a third of Americans plan to cross state lines. And gift cards are one of the hottest holiday presents again this year, but even more so than normal. So shoppers are worried about visiting stores, uh, also worried about shipping delays. So electronic gift cards, though, were really popular. In fact, gift card purchases in the first week of December, twice the rate as the same period last year, according to InMarket. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Thanks so much, Jane.